I made tea so I'm just gonna have a muffin for breakfast and I also have rice so I'm gonna have that because I didn't have breakfast at home and yeah I'm studying today mm -hmm. I just had a presentation meeting for my research methodology module. Hey yeah, guys, I'm feeling so tired. I had a very long day, but I thought I'd give you guys a test update. I worked for three hours and it is doing very well. My first test. I can't believe I managed to study so much work in a week. Well, it was even less than a week because um, my week started off a bit rocky, but no. First test done and dusted. And yeah, I'm quite excited. We're going to be moving on to the next two study units before the next test. So basically, I'm writing every week from now on. We're writing about the crime scene, the information processing, um, the investigation phases, and it was quite interesting. But I feel like it's things that we've kind of covered in undergrad. So the things that we're going to be doing now, it's yeah, it's, it's quite interesting. The next two study units we're going to be covering is forensic pathology and we're also going to be looking at how they examine um, the bodily fluids, which is quite interesting. I'm just geeking over here because I love true crime and yeah, now I'm kind of gaining the scientific knowledge about not necessarily just the commission of the crime but also the subject of and objects of information at the crime scenes. Um, so yeah, I ran some errands after school and I went to Little Apple, but I'll show you guys what I got. By the way, I also did my hair. I feel like this is my go-to hairstyle at this point. This is the hairstyle I do when I don't know what to do with my hair or when I'm still contemplating my next hairstyle. She's based in Hatfield and as always, I'll leave her details either in the description or on the screen.
finish line. If you're still breathing, you're the lucky ones. Keeping through corrupted bones and wrong. The lovers that aren't wrong. Shine, that means I have a hair appointment. I have five minutes to spare because um, I set the appointment for seven. Um, so, yeah, hey guys, look how cute my lashes turn out. I'm not even sure what time it is. I just finished taking a bath. I've been using this Scarlet Hill tissue oil and I really like it. I don't know if it's because it's pink, but it gets the job done. So it has come to my attention that I actually have a lot of first year love themes. I would just like to say welcome to uni. <laughs> I thought I would just give you guys my first year experience with regards to friendships. Someone asked advice on how to make friends during your first year. I honestly just wanted something that I could speak about, tell you guys about my journey, how I navigated friendships. So basically when I got to uni, it was still COVID and I got to uni in 2021. School was pretty much online and we didn't attend on campus. So that in itself made it very difficult. With regards to getting new to a new environment, I found it quite easy to settle into uni simply because I think I've just always been such an independent person so it wasn't a huge struggle. I'm gonna go in with this standing beauty serum. In my first year, I was sharing an apartment with three other people, so there were four of us. I thought that that would kind of also just make things a bit easier in terms of like finding friends and making friends. But contrary to that belief, it didn't work out that way because people are different and I was quite naive during my first year. I just had this mindset that when you come to uni, I want to have a flatmate and this flatmate is going to be my BFA forever, you know? <laughs> because you know how they always say, you find your real friends in varsity. 
yeah, that was my mindset. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. I guess we were just not compatible as friends, you know. However, I did manage to form a friendship with one of the girls and yeah, that was one thing that came out of it. And then I finally made friends. But I wasn't actively looking for friends. I remember the first interaction was in the corridor and it was so impromptu. I was literally walking back to my room or something. Yeah, we met and we hit it off. Because one thing about me, guys, I love experiencing people. Like, I love meeting girls. Girls are just so cute, you know? Unfortunately, I realized that I was compromising parts of myself that are literally at the core of my values and my moral compass in general. That friendship ended. So because I do hair, one day I got a request to do someone's hair and that is how I met my current friends. They were all staying at the same race. They came to check up on each other and we just hit it off. It was so natural and that was also the first time where I felt like, oh my goodness. I found my people. I explained this whole story because I want to tell you guys that your people will always find you. I'm just so obsessed with the idea of making friends and being in a circle just to feel included. But if those people aren't for you, I would say don't force it. Because in order for a friendship to work out, it needs to be genuine and mutual to a great extent. After I made my friends, I felt so validated, I felt like I found my people and I didn't feel like I had to compromise parts of myself to fit in. That's also when I learned something very important that I don't think I'm necessarily a friend group person because it's a different dynamic simply because you have to be aware of so many people's experiences as well as things that are not in your control because everyone experiences you in a different way and that was kind of a lot because a part of me always wants to cater to everyone but sometimes that also gets a bit exhausting because we're very different and i tend to gravitate more towards people that feel like a safe space and where i feel like i don't need to try too hard so as i said i was doing hair and i've always just been doing people's hair if it was not for that i don't think i would have made my friends so it's also just a matter of you're just trying to put yourself out there it might not be through a business but there are a lot of activities you can do that the school also organizes and that way you can even meet people in your vicinity people who are also students like for instance um two weeks ago i uploaded a video and there was a marathon it was literally a marathon that was organized by tux sport and every student was welcome to join the marathon and i feel like that's also like putting yourself out there and putting yourself in spaces that allow you to meet like-minded people or people who are into the same things that you do. But what I'm going to say is it gets better. It really gets better. I made my friends at the end of my first year. Don't be too hard on yourself. If you feel not know me, you can just watch my videos. I'll be your friend through the screen. I wish I could be every love theme's physical, real friend. <laughs> but it's going to get overwhelming. <laughs> so yeah, guys. Anyway, let me get into my PJs and go and have some dinner. Morning love beams. So today is Wednesday. I woke up at 5 and I was just revising through my study unit that I was studying yesterday. Yesterday I tried a new scene and I went to the Prince of Campus. And the library was quite nice but I just felt like the experience was short lived. We came back a little bit early and then I just ended up going to study at the law library for the rest of the evening and then it started pouring and it was just raining so I had to wait for the rain and then I came back home at around 7 I think the main reason why I got this hairstyle was also so that I can just have a boy every single day and it's giving mm. like I've been waiting to enter my boy era I just needed the perfect hairstyle now I do have the perfect hairstyle so yeah I'm wearing a skirt from three years back. Was it four years? I don't even know. And I got the skirt from Factory so long ago. And this cute basic top is from Cotton On. <laughs>
most afraid of But thought you'd cancel any plans I will let So I just left the library. I'm supposed to shoot a video for Varsity Vibe today. The problem is I was supposed to shoot it yesterday because the package was supposed to arrive yesterday or the day before yesterday and they messed up my address and my package was sent all the way to Bloemfontein. Uh, the package only arrived now and I have like three hours before I have to post it. So I have to create a video, edit it and upload it by three. Breathing in, breathing out, how you been, you settled down, feeling And it's a wrap, here's Lindor, my director. <laughs> so yeah guys, managed to post. Breathing in, breathing out, how you been, you settled down. Feeling right